In this video, we're going to look at the inverting amplifier configuration of an operational amplifier. And in this particular configuration, we can see we can see it here. We've got an input voltage applied to this circuit and an output voltage coming out the other side. And again, we have this negative feedback configuration where the output is feeding back through this resistor network to the inverting terminal of the amplifier. And at the same time, we also have the non-inverting terminal of the amplifier connected to ground. So what we're going to try to try to figure out here is what is the relationship between the output voltage and the input voltage. And that is telling us what is the actual voltage gain of this particular circuit. All right, so here's the circuit again. And what we want to figure out is the voltage gain, which is equal to the output voltage over the input voltage. And a couple things that we know about this circuit is we know the open loop voltage gain of this amplifier. And we also know that to both of these terminals, the non-inverting terminal and the inverting terminal, no current is going to flow into them. So going back to the basics of, of the way this amplifier works, the output of the amplifier, which is going, going to be at this point, is equal to the open loop gain of the circuit times the voltage at the non-inverting terminal here minus the voltage at the inverting terminal here. So the non-inverting voltage minus the inverting terminal voltage. Now looking at this, this circuit, we can, we can figure out a couple of things for, for what these voltages actually are. Well, the voltage at the inverting non-inverting terminal here connected straight to ground, so that's going to be zero volts. The voltage at the non-inverting, at the inverting terminal, sorry, right here, this is, this is a little bit trickier to figure out. What we're trying to figure out is basically we, ha we have this circuit looking something like this, and we know that we've got an input voltage there and an output voltage there. These are both with respect to ground, and we've got an R in here and an RF here, and we want to figure out what is the voltage at this point with respect to ground. So the way that we're going to figure that this out is we're going to use, use superposition and, and figure out the voltage at this point due only to V in, and then the voltage at this point due only to V out. So the voltage at that, that point, the inverting terminal due to V in. Well, to do that, we'll ground V out, set V out to zero. So what we're going to have is voltage at the inverting terminal is equal to, well, it's a voltage divider network. It's V in across these two resistors. So it's simply going to be V in times RF over R in plus RF. Right? Voltage divider between these two resistors. This side's connected to ground. This side's my V in. So that would be my equation for the voltage at the inverting terminal due to V in. Let's call that in. And the voltage at the inverting terminal due to V out. We're going to do a very similar thing here. Set the V in to ground, set it to zero volts. And what's the voltage at this point due just to V out? Well, again, it's a voltage divider between these two resistors, but it's a voltage across this resistor that we worry about. So the voltage at the inverting terminal due to the output is equal to V out times R in over R in plus RF. So the overall voltage at the inverting terminal is due to the voltage at the inverting terminal due to the V in plus the voltage at the inverting terminal due to V out, which is going to be equal to this term, this term here, plus this term here. And so what we get is simply V in RF over R in plus RF, I guess that's a lowercase f, plus V out R in over R in plus RF. And then substituting this back into the expression over here and zero volts into the expression for the non-inverting voltage, we get AVOL times zero minus VNRF 
B in RF over R in plus RF plus V out R in over R in plus RF. That's what V out is equal to. So we want to make a we want to make this this expression here in terms of voltage gain. So we want to isolate V out and V in on the two sides of the equation. So we've got this term here, we'll move it over to the other side of the equation. Actually, we'll have to distribute the AVOL amongst this term and this term. And then move it over, and what we end up with is V out plus V out AVOL R in all over R in plus R F is equal to negative AVOL times VN RF over RN plus RF. Well, let's do a little bit more algebra here. Uh, factor the V out from that expression. We'll get V out times 1 plus AVOL RN over RN plus RF is equal to rearrange this a little bit, negative VN AVOL RF over RN plus RF. Let's move the VN to this side of the equation and this term over to the other side of the equation. So now we've got V out over VN. Here's our voltage gain. And that's equal to AVOL RF over over the Rn plus Rf and then that's all going to be divided by 1 plus AVOL Rn over Rn plus Rf. So this is a lot of steps of algebra but that's all it is. It's just some algebra and what we're trying to reduce things down to is just an equation in terms of Rn and Rf. Now, let's multiply both the top and the bottom by Rn plus Rf, or we can see that we've got um, this Rn plus Rf term common to this part and common to this part, but not over here. So when we multiply both, not both sides of the equation, both the numerator and the denominator by Rn plus Rf, we get AVOL Rf. This, this part will cancel out here, divided by Rn plus Rf, and then this term times Rn plus Rf, well, this the, that'll cancel this out. Then we get plus AVOL Rn. Now again, let's do another little little uh, trick here, a little algebraic trick. We're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator again by 1 over AVOL, and 1 over AVOL. Um, oh, I think, you know what, I'm forgetting a negative sign throughout here. So there should be a negative sign there. But anyway, when I co coming back to here, multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by 1 over AVOL, and we end up with negative RF all divided by Rn over the open loop voltage gain plus RF divided by the open loop voltage gain plus Rn. Now, we're going to have a large open loop voltage gain for this operational amplifier, hopefully. As that open loop voltage gain gets really big compared to Rn and Rf, these two terms are going to go to zero. So as AVLO goes to infinity, then Rn over Av and Rf, oops, AVOL, open loop, those both go to zero. And so what we get is as long as our open loop voltage gain is really big, we get the circuit voltage gain to be equal to the feedback resistor here, the RF, divided by the this input resistor here, the RN, and then uh, negative, uh, the negative of that ratio, just indicating that the input and the output are going to be 180 degrees out of phase. And as long as our open loop voltage gain 
is big, then we can apply these two golden rules for ideal op amps. Actually, two things we need. The, the open loop voltage gain is really big, and the input impedances of these two terminals, the inverting terminal and the non-inverting terminal, is also really big, infinite, ideally. Then we can have these two golden rules for ideal op amps. Uh, when we have negative feedback, the voltage at the two terminals is going to be the same. This circuit is going to try to make that so. Uh, negative feedback is going to make the non-inverting terminal and the inverting terminal have the same voltage. And the input currents to the two terminals is going to be effectively zero. Using those two golden rules for ideal op amps, we can come up with that same expression, this voltage gain is equal to negative RF over R in, in a slightly different and at the same time easier manner. Okay, so if the voltage at the non-inverting terminal here is zero volts, then we're going to have what we call a, a zero, uh, we're going to have zero volts at the inverting terminal, and we can call, we call that a virtual ground. So it's not actually connected to ground, but it is at zero volts. It's at the same voltage as ground. So because of that, and because of the fact that the current here and the current here are going to be the same, we, we can well show that we come up with the same expression. So let's call that, let's call that IR in here. We call this one IRF. Those two are going to be equal to each other. And because we've got zero volts at this point, we've de we're defining the current as flowing in this direction. So the voltage, uh, the voltage across this resistor is going to be V in, you know, V in, just V in minus zero. And V in over R in will be that current. And over here, voltage across this resistor is going to be zero minus V out. So it's going to be equal to minus V out for the voltage divide that voltage by RF and that gives us the current. Now we do some rearranging, bring V in over to this side of the expression, RF over to this side of the expression, and we get V out over V in is equal to negative RF over R in. And that again is the voltage gain. So I hope you learned a little bit about inverting amplifier configurations, and I'll see you in the next video.